Hey guys, I, uh, as you can see from this big box right here, you can't see my face because it's so big. Uh, we're doing a review and unboxing of the Star Wars Black Series Snow Speeder. Super excited that I got this. Uh, a good friend of mine uh, ordered two. I think he was at one point, he was like, I'm going to open one and keep one for trade bait. He's like, no, nah, well, I'll, I'll just, just want to get rid of it. So I picked it up. So just to give you an idea of how big this box is, this is already, this covers my whole torso. Right? Side of the box, just right on that side. And the back, product shots. Pictures, uh, the uh, inside the cockpit as well. Uh, so let's pop this guy open. And, uh, and there's no way I was going to keep this one in the box. It's too awesome. Oh my goodness! I thought the I thought the do back was big. This box is uh, it's about the same size. But actually, no, a, a little bit bigger than the. Holy hell. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> I knew it was going to be big, and I saw the reviews. Uh, I did not expect it to be this big. Uh, wow. Oh, oh my god, like, uh, I don't even know what to say. This is crazy. This is freaking massive. So in the box, you have the pilot here, the uh, two uh, guns that go on the side, and some other parts right here. So let's uh, open this guy up. Let's, let's get the parts ready. Goodness. This is insane. This is freaking beautiful. <laughs> I haven't been this happy about a figure in a while. Okay, so here on one of the bags, so you got the gun for uh, for the back. And on this other little baggie here. Of the helmet and you have the that grappling gun and you have the two grenades freaking awesome all right so let's keep that aside so we don't lose that guns right here so it's nice it's out yeah. pop the figure out Let's go over the figure first. That's your typical uh, Black Series standard fare. The sculpt is really nice. This is a uh, man. If you're gonna have like a, a sweet diorama, which is gonna be a, l a little bit tough on one six scale because the vehicles are tend to be really massive. Uh, uh, especially for those guys that got the uh, first order TIE Fighter, which I love. I still have it in a box strictly because I don't know where I'm going to put it. This is better, but because it takes probably just as much, if not more, real estate than the, than the uh, TIE Fighter. Uh, 
So, yeah, you got your articulation there. I'm sure this could go all the way around. I don't, I don't want to loosen the joints. A little, a little over 90 degrees, which is pretty good, actually, more than I expected from a black series. Uh, not much, not really any side to side. He came like with his head kind of tilted. Not much down. And not much up either. Which is fine for what I need this guy to do. I just need him to <laughs> sit there and look good. Now from the reviews that I've seen before, it seems that this this bottom piece of the uh, is made of stretchy material, this piece right here. So when you try to sit him, put him in a sitting pose, because of that hose that gets in the way, it bends it. So I'm not particularly fond of how how they did that. I, I see why they did it. You know, that's for accuracy. I get it. But uh, it's going to be a little bit tough to have. Like, I can't even get him in a sitting pose. And not, like, I can't even move this properly without possibly stretching. Uh, without possibly stretching that piece right there, which is really annoying. Uh, I'll worry about that later. Let's put the helmet on. Oh, that's a tight fit. Oh, that's does not feel good trying to put him in. I don't want to snap the uh, the chin strap. Okay, so it's in. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. It's in. Looks good. Boom. You can hold the grenades just fine. I feel like uh, he has his little glow sticks in a rave. Anyway, so we'll set this guy aside. Oh my goodness. Wow. That chin strap does not... does not feel good sitting there. I feel like it's going to stretch it more than it should. Okay, so we'll leave that. We'll leave him aside for now. now let's get this big boy out. This is what you guys have been waiting for. Oh my god, this box is massive. So here this is how big this is. That's pretty massive. Uh, so you have the detailing there. There's actually really, really nice detail on the uh, uh, on the uh, visible part of the engine. Uh, it has like a rust rusty look to it really great attention to detail if you want to just have it make it look like he's repairing it or uh, you know have him in a scene and like he's flying and this piece got shut off you can do that I think this piece goes right here I'm gonna put that on and then this engine piece just slides on sides on just like that and 
now, let's put these bad boys on. sure if this is it's uh yeah I think I think these guys are particular to one side yeah it is and This piece, this turret, goes right there on the back. Now, let's go through the articulation, I suppose. And, okay. Yeah, I like how it even has that intake vent over here. And some. Uh, tampos on it and I'm glad you really don't have to put any stickers on this or anything like that because so that would be really annoying I, I'm not a fan of those because they tend to over time just end up uh, coming off the figure or just losing their stickiness <laughs> so underneath that's what it looks like And from what I recall, you get the landing gear right here. And it snaps into place, which is good. You need that stability. Then oh my god. I knuckle. Ah, this thing's really annoying. It's, uh, it's fighting me. Okay, so that one opens. Okay, so you, looks like you got to open this one first because the, the the landing gear is attached to this big piece, so it was it was hitting this. Got it. Okay, so there's that. The small small side first. That's, I guess that's kind of a smart way to do it rather than personally I, I like how how this one comes out I I think they should have done it that way that way this is in the center and it would be more stable uh, now I don't have much room here on my table so that's that's how big it is. It's pretty awesome. Now, aside from that, it has these these flaps, which uh, I would assume is uh, either for braking or f uh, to change to the uh, was it the pitch or yaw of uh, I forgot the flight terms. Uh, I think. Like pitch is forward and back, and yaw is up and down. P please feel free to correct me. Uh, and yeah, so I, I like that little attention to detail there. Then over here, just like the vintage collection one, it has the string for the uh, the uh, what do you call it? What's that term? It's at the tip of my tongue. For the harpoon for the back, which actually my vintage collection has. I'm gonna do a comparison shortly. Now, open the cockpit, which is kind of a little bit sticky. And that uh, does not feel good trying to open it. Ooh. Ooh, the 
that does not feel good. I feel like I'm gonna break something. So just be careful. Oh my god, okay. This is really making me nervous and uh, I don't wanna screw up this toy because it's expensive. And I've been wanting one for when I found out they were doing this. Oh my god. This thing won't even open. Like it, This is like stuck all the way here. I know other reviewers have had issues with this. Oh my god. And I really, really do not want to F it up. But I also need to open this. If I do, don't do it now, oh my god, that did not feel good. Oh, thank god nothing snapped and I didn't break anything. So, as you could tell, that uh, has space for two pilots, as it should, and I don't know if you can see this, but the detail. The detail on the controls, especially here in the back, is really nice. It, the uh, the the flight control sticks even has red buttons uh, on it. They have really great attention to detail on that. Uh, the front one doesn't really have a much of a heads up display. Uh, not like the back, the back looks more detailed. And uh, so these already have, uh, so I really gotta change my setup here. So these here already has a space where you can hold the, uh, where you can put the cannons, I'm um, sorry, not cannons, these, uh, grenades so there's space for two in there which is where it's gonna go because uh, I don't want to lose them and I'm not even sure if these actually come out because there's already two in each so I don't know maybe they come out yeah I think they're molded in it looks like they come out though. But if they're molded in, that's not not a big deal because at least I won't lose them. I'm gonna put the other one here. Okay. So they're they're in there now, and apparently there there's a there is a sp space for this in here. Get worth. Okay, it's right here. Right here. There's a hole there. And it just. Uh. There you go. So everything, everything, all the accessory store, which is freaking awesome, right? So let's uh, let's try to put this guy up in the pilot seat because I don't have a Luke to sit in the pilot seat. Uh, so if any of you guys has one or know anyone that has one, let me know. That would be amazing. Having mad issues getting him in. Sorry, I got the movie playing in the background. Strictly because of how, how this freaking hose and how it's, it goes into the leg. I'm having a, such a hard time putting him in. Uh, see, when I do that, even just that, like, 
it makes it like, super difficult just to just to get them posed just so they would fit and that is not fun trying to get them in there but it fits saying fake it till you make it there he is buckled in fits perfectly this thing is massive so I'm gonna do a quick comparison size comparison with the vintage collection one <laughs> so this is the vintage collection one, right here. This is how big this Mamma Jamma is. And this is how big this little guy is. Yeah. Like, that's how massive it is. And I thought this was already big. So, big piece. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. It's probably gonna go back in the box after I take a, f a few photos on it, of it until I find a more permanent place for it. As you can tell, my falcon is still sitting on top of the dresser there because I got I got nowhere else to put it. It's, it's too big. Uh, I need another room in the house. As my wife's already giving me a lot of crap for this, so I'm gonna hide it before she finds it. Anyway, uh, I tried to keep this review short, but it didn't because there's a lot of a lot of things to go over. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys on the next one.